Hey guys, QuickTaku here. Today we'll be talking about how liking Monster Girls makes you superior over... Hold him down. Hand me the syringe. Okay, 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 I'll talk about 10 facts instead. According to the bonus material at the end of the manga's first volume, the story was originally going to be a boy meets girl romance, where Kobayashi was originally going to be a male character. Thankfully, that changed, because a lot of Maid Dragon's comedy probably wouldn't have flowed as well if it didn't. And also this scene. <laughs> Takemoto's adaptation of Maid Dragon includes a lot of moments that weren't in the original manga. One of them being a very early scene in the show where Toru sees what maids are supposed to look like by spotting two maids advertising in a cafe when flying to Kobayashi. Talking about changes made in the anime adaptation, a lot of Maid Dragon is adapted out of order. For example, in the Dodgeball episode, the reason why Lukoa and Fafnir check up on Toru is because in the manga, a previous chapter discusses a debacle with Toru's father. The mangaka for Maid Dragon, Ku Kyo Shinja, actually made his way into the industry by starting with drawing hentai doujins. So if you ever want ludes for the characters of Maid Dragon, you can go check out his previous works instead. Just don't do it to Kana. A nice little easter egg, in the show, all the coding we see Kobayashi working on can actually be applied onto Python and work. As for what exactly the codes do? I'm not a comp sci major for a reason. Maid Dragon features a directorial debut for KyoAni. Shinpei Sawa, a graduate from KyoAni's animation school in 2009, became the episode director for episode 2. Now, Sawa is perhaps one of the only KyoAni staff members who specializes in effects animation that's training to become a director for the studio. So with that fact, it's probably a good indication that we'll be seeing more diverse projects in the studio's future. Unlike other anime which are in production as they air, Kobayashi was so ahead of schedule the entire production finished by the time episode 5 aired. Even so, this is actually considered late for KyoAni standards. This is the first time screenwriter Yuka Yamada has worked on a KyoAni show, being picked out by Takemoto and the show's producers, which is rare since KyoAni normally goes with screenwriters they're already familiar with. In episode 7, the first half speech episode features much more than the manga. For example, Lukoa and Shota being included, a sunblock applying session, a brief swimming race, watermelon smashing game, and Lukoa's swimsuit antics are all additions to the scene. Coming full circle, according to the afterword of the manga's first chapter, mangaka Shinja told the story of how Maid Dragon came to be, where the Futaba company asked him to create a boy and girl romance manga. However, Shinja ended up doing his own thing, and came out with chapter 1 of Maid Dragon. When he showed it to the editor, after a quick confrontation, they decided to serialize it, with Shinja wondering how he got away with it. And that's how a show of a dragon who is a maid serving a normal woman came to be. Da 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 da